You're ready to get your iPhone photos onto your PC computer, but you can't because your iPhone is optimized. Join me now. I'm going to show you how to use iCloud Photos for Windows so you can get all your memories down on your computer. Hi, my name's Molly, and I help people feel confident and motivated in saving their family memories. I'm so glad you're here because getting photos off your iPhone is a really important part of saving your family pictures. Many people don't even think about it, and you might have tried by connecting your phone to your PC with a cable, only to find that you can't see many of your pictures on your PC. And that's because your phone was optimized. And many people have to leave it that way because they don't have enough room on their phone to download all of the originals. And that's okay. Apple did make this little app for uh, PC users that can really help you. Of course, there's always the possibility for some glitches along the way, but I'm going to walk you through it so you can at least take a look and maybe have an easier way to save your family pictures. The first thing you're going to do is just go to your internet browser and search for iCloud for Windows. When you get to the Apple support site, you'll just click download iCloud for Windows from the Microsoft Store. Now, I've done that already, so I'm going to click on downloads. You can see I've downloaded it three times, and I will double click it. That launches the Microsoft Store app on your computer, and if you don't have it yet, it'll say download and uh, install. I did notice that uh, when I installed this, there was an error for about an hour, and eventually the program downloaded and was ready to open, like you see here. Once you click open, you'll be prompted to log in with your Apple ID, your iCloud ID, okay? And have your phone ready because there is the two-factor authentication. So once you're logged in, you're going to get a, some options on what you want to download to your PC. So I'm going to show you, uh, here is my iCloud app kind of control center. And the only thing I chose was to download iCloud Photos. All right, that's all I wanted. And then I skipped the rest of them. You also can see like how much photos and videos you have. So I have 159 gigabytes of photos. It's a good idea to check your computer so that you know how much space you have on it. And if you don't know how much space, you'll click on your file explorer and then just go to your C drive, right click and select properties. You can see my computer has 220 gigabytes, so I should be good. So if you know you have enough space, that's important. You'll also, you know, once you get here, you probably have already started the process of downloading the photos and videos, and you'll see a progress bar here. I noticed that it said thing, you know, it was counting up to 16,000 items is what I had in my library. And I noticed that it said syncing, so like syncing 24 out of 16,000 pictures, thumbnails, not pictures, thumbnails. And I was like, thumbnails? I don't want the thumbnails. We want the whole original picture. So I thought that was kind of odd. And uh, I knew it was wrong when I went to the iCloud Photos folder. So remember, when you install the iCloud on your computer, you get the control center, and then it also puts in this folder in your file explorer. So you can see I'm selecting it here, and down at the bottom, I have 16,599 items that have come down, but, I have this icon of a cloud next to it. That's its status. Let me just change the view to large icons. And I knew when I saw all of those clouds, I'm like, this picture is not living on my computer. Plus, it only took like an hour and a half for all those thumbnails to come down. And I know 159 gigabytes takes a long time to come to your computer. So I had to go to the Apple website and search in the support area as well as the community area to figure out how do I get my pictures down because 
even when you are in the control center, you can click this arrow and you have more options here, but n none of it says download original, which is crazy. Even the phone has it that option. And on a Mac, you can download the original. So I was like, great. You can double click on a picture, whoops, and it will download. So notice how I double clicked on it there. I now have a green check mark and it's on my computer. That's what the green check mark means. But how do you get the other 16,000 pictures and videos to be downloaded? Well, the website that I found did have this line in there. Let me read this to you. In iCloud for Windows 11.1 and later, optimized versions of all photos and videos automatically download to your PC once you enable iCloud Photos. Open the photo or video to download the full version. And that is the extent of the directions. What if you want to download all 16,000? You're not going to double click all of them. I did find another article. Thankfully, someone posted this in the Apple community. This is where people who use Apple products can post questions and get answers from other people who use the products a lot. Anyway, what um, I read is that you can select a whole bunch of pictures and when you right click on them, you can always keep on this device. So I've selected it and now we are going to have to just see if it is going to <laughs> download them right here. In the iCloud Control Center, you can see it's downloading 28 items and the green check marks are appearing. But I think if you want to download them all, you could select one and then do Control A. And now it says, you know, all of those items are selected. Right click. Always keep on this device. And that is going to take some time to process, but fortunately, you can monitor it in the control center and you'll actually see, you know, it working right here. So it's just completing applying the properties to those pictures, telling it download the picture. Now you can see that the control center for the iCloud app is catching up and it's going to have to do its work. Be sure to leave your computer on and let it run overnight so that your computer and the internet and the pictures can all catch up and end up down on your computer in that folder. Now I'm gonna just tell you right off the bat, you cannot have a folder with 16,000 items in it. That's an enormous amount of pictures and it'll take forever to scroll through any of it. We recommend a folder structure where you divide up the pictures by decades and then years and then months. Just keep on top of it. I can't stress that enough. Every month moving forward, get your pictures into their own monthly folder so that you can start you know, actually managing your collection and saving it properly on your computer so that you can back it up as well as, you know, share with friends and family. We love using forever permanent storage, but there's a lot of options out there. Once you finally get this problem solved of getting the pictures off your phone and out of iCloud, if you want to know more about the folder structure, watch that video. What questions do you have? Is this helpful? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you the next time.